Hello, so I've been keeping a little bit of an OT secret from you. Um, you'll know what the secret is now. Basically, I am doing a Vlogmas. Now, I'm not going to do it every What's up, guys? Welcome to Vlogmas 2017. I can't believe we're already doing it again. This is like the fourth year I've been doing it. So, to begin this Vlogmas, I firstly think that I need to show you uh, the Christmas decorations. So, or like the Christmas tree. We've got a new Christmas tree. It's a seven-foot one. Let's have a little look. That's my cat. Uh, that She's rolling around because basically we've got a, a catnip calendar. And if you don't know, cats love catnip. There's a little bit of catnip still left on the floor. So she's, you know, acting all weird about it. But anyway, this is the tree. As you can see, it's very nice. Um, quite big as well. So yeah, I'm getting, you know, I'm feeling really Christmassy. So today I've just been at school for about two hours and now I'm back at home. I will be going back to school in about an hour or so. And then after that, I'm going to the gym. So for now, what I need to do is actually need to open the first day of the advent calendar. Now I have been on myprotein.com. I was just looking around at different things and I saw this myprotein advent calendar. So next year that is going to be the one, but for now I've got the next best thing, which is galaxy. So let's find number one on here. One right here let's get this open what a nice way to start off the calendar we've got a santa claus all right so i'm in my gym clothes now ready well obviously i'm ready for the gym so let's go make a protein shake so i've got my whey protein here this is the impact whey protein from my protein and it's the banana flavored one this is a really it, it tastes really nice so i've got this and then i've also got this cup uh, or bottle that i got free from foot asylum i went in on a, like a student day where you get like offers and stuff a little bit like black friday but for students um and i went in to get some shoes and then i just got this free so i figured i'd use this so while I'm making the protein shake i thought i'd talk to you a little bit about my new routine so as you know, um, a few months ago, I posted a couple of videos uh, in which I did like a push-pull leg uh, routine. So, all right, sorry about that. I had to stop the recording because I couldn't find the scooper. So I'm ending up using this 20 gram scooper thing. So I'm only putting a little bit in because uh, I don't need to fill it right to the top. So I'll just be making this and then I'll sit down and talk to you about the routine because it will make it a bit easier. Okay, so now that I'm sat down, let me just take a little sip. Hmm, that's really good. Anyway, now that I'm sat down, I can talk to you a little bit about the workout routine that I've been doing. So recently, for the past sort of two months now, I've been doing an upper lower routine three days a week. So I'm doing two upper body sessions, one lower body session. And the reason for this is I've been training in the past for a lot of volume. So in my previous routine, I was still only working out three days a week, but I was doing like four or even five exercises for each muscle group, but only working each muscle group once a week. So doing this routine means I've got a little bit less volume, but I'm able to get more frequency throughout the week. So I'm basically training all my upper body muscle groups um, twice a week, but with less volume and then I'm having like a separate leg day. And this is really working great for me. I'm making some great gains, for instance, on my dumbbell chest press for the flat one, um, I started off with 22 kg and I've moved up to 26 kg, that's each arm. Um, shoulder press, I started uh, 16 kg on each arm uh, at the beginning of the two months uh, and now I've just moved up to 20 kg each arm. I am reducing the weight though because I've been doing it in like a strength rep range, so that's like four to six reps but the problem is it, it like takes a lot of energy actually getting the weight into position for shoulder press so i'm actually changing it to uh, a slightly lower weight but i'm going to be doing like 10 reps so i'll probably be doing like 18 kg each arm for 10 reps so uh, i've also been making good gains on my deadlift so it's really working well for me this routine so that's why i'm sticking with it i might make a video in a few weeks going into more detail why it's working and what i like about it Anyway, I need to be getting ready for school now because before I go to the gym, I've got one lesson left. Unfortunately, I can't actually film the gym for you guys because no one's coming with me. So it's just going to be me there. 
I really wish I could, but I can't. So hopefully in a few weeks' time, I manage to get a gym montage. Uh, let's just hope. I've not had a protein shake in a while. That's why I'm really enjoying this. I forgot how good it tastes. And if you're wondering what this is in the background, I don't know if you saw it. This is the old Christmas tree. So this is what you will have seen all the previous years that I've been doing Vlogmas. So we're still using it, we're just keeping it in the kitchen. And at some point we will be putting decorations on it. So don't worry, it's not gonna be staying like that. So I don't know whether you've noticed, but I have been trying to grow a little bit of a beard. It's still a little bit patchy around here, but for the most part, I think it's really coming on nicely. I reckon this time next year, I will have a full uh, beard with no patches. I'm not wanting to grow it like super long or anything, uh, but hopefully this time next year, no patches in the beard. But if you can remember back to a few years ago in one of my videos. Finally, it's come to the time where I've decided to shave all this off. This is a... Uh two weeks worth of growth and I've had enough of it now so let's get rid of it. I did actually show um, my sort of beard that I was trying to grow and since then as you can see it's come on a lot better. What's going on guys it's Saturday now I've not filmed anything from today because I've been working from 9 till 6 so now I'm back at home I'm just gonna chill out for a bit. So for lunch today, I thought I would make a omelette. It's Tuesday, by the way. I didn't film anything for the past few days. There weren't really much going on. But I thought right now, you know what I'll do? I'll film myself making this omelette. Now, this recipe isn't my own. This is what I found on the bodybuilding.com website. And also there's a video on the YouTube channel. So I'll leave a link for that in the description. So let me show you how, um, well, what ingredients I've got going. So as you can see here, I've got two eggs. Now, you are supposed to use four eggs, but I don't think my mum and dad would be happy with me using four eggs, seeing as there's only four le eggs left. So I just used two, but I'll be putting them with like a slice of toast or something like that uh, to make it a little bit more filling. And then I've got this spice mixture here. This has got cayenne pepper, uh, garlic salt, just normal pepper, normal salt, um, and then also Italian seasoning. Um, the Italian seasoning I thought to add in myself, I do this pretty much all the time so uh, I know what I like, I know what I don't like because I pretty much make this every single week. I absolutely love it so let's get to the making. One lovely egg. Got the eggs in the pan, as you can see there, nice and bubbling. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna grab myself a spatula. And I don't like it to be too neat, so uh, it cooks faster if I just pretty much mix it all into the middle. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So yeah, like I said, this uh, recipe is from the bodybuilding.com. It was created by a guy called Rob Smith, who is like this bodybuilder. So I will leave a link in the description down below for both the video and the article. It's a really good recipe. It's easy to make. I've made a much more simple version of it, uh, just for sake of time. But you can, you know, if you watch, look at the recipe down below, you'll be able to see the full recipe. Have a go at it, it tastes so good. And this is the final result, as you can see, looking very nice.
anyway guys that is it for this week's vlogmas now i know it's been quite a short vlog and there's not really been much going on but as it gets nearer to christmas time um i should be doing a lot more things so it should be getting a little bit more interesting as of next week it's going to be a pretty average week uh, but in a few weeks time i'm off school so it should be uh, quite a bit more fun so until next week i'll see you guys later goodbye